L-I-P-L-M. Hello, my name is Brandon Carter. In this NX tip of the week, we're going to take a look at how to export to the spreadsheet from the Assembly Navigator. As you may know, your Assembly Navigator, you have the ability to customize and add different content in the different columns. Also with NX10, you have this button here to quickly maximize and minimize the Assembly Navigator as you're working with it. I'm going to go ahead and maximize the Assembly Navigator. Here you see I have some default columns set up. Maybe there's a specific bit of information I want in these columns. You may be familiar with this. The first thing I want to do is go into columns and I'll configure it. If I configure this, I can turn on and off what I want to show up in my columns. Maybe in this case I want to leave count as it is out of the box per se. I also want to add some custom attributes. Each of these properties are applied to my components in the assembly. So for example, I want to add part number which exists in each of those components. So I'm going to hit new and I can drag this to the, the place I want that part number. I'm going to come down here and maybe I'll also do vendor. I'll pull this where I want it. And then finally I'll do one I have called type. So I'll just reorder these the way I want. Also we have count turned on so if I hit OK you see I have part number, type, vendor, and count. What's nice here is if I'm using this information in my assembly navigator already I can just right click and say export to spreadsheet. What this will do is dump everything I have in my spreadsheet and this could even be something I could use as a uh, a parts list or a, a report of my parts list, my bomb if you will. Maybe I come in here and remove the, the row for constraints. You also have the opportunity to right click and export to a browser if you prefer. So here you see that in this case this just comes up inside of Internet Explorer. So in this week's tip of the week, we looked at how to export to a spreadsheet from the Assembly Navigator. Um, this could be also done with the Part Navigator or even over in the manufacturing environment, any place you have a navigator. Thanks and have a great day. L -I -P -L -M.